what is machine learning? Well, you know, we've all heard the term, but even amongst the experts, it can mean a lot of different things. If I gave you a bunch of data with an x-axis and y-axis, and this could be anything like a uh, patient's amount of cholesterol and the probability that they'll get heart disease. The simplest form of machine learning is something we would call curve fitting, where you might be able to come up with a model, like a straight line that you'd put between these curves, such that if you had a new patient with a new value of cholesterol that you'd never seen before, you can therefore determine what the impact would be, whether it be low or high. So this form of machine learning is very old, and some people might not even call it machine learning might call it curve fitting or regression. But this and more sophisticated versions of this are at the heart of so many advances in data science right now because just understanding a huge sea of data is itself a challenge. Problem solving power of mathematics and logic combined with the speed and accuracy of a machine for carrying out these operations is the basis of the computer revolution. But there's been a sea change in machine learning in that what we're seeing now is a new generation of machine learning algorithms. Here, we needed to know what X and Y are. We needed to know that cholesterol was important for heart disease. That's a determining factor that somewhere a human being figured out and then could put this into machine learning. What if you just don't know? What if you need to figure out what these features are? This is at the heart of modern machine learning, where the computer not just builds a model of what's going on, but actually itself learns the features. For example, if we want to understand features in DNA, the traditional way is that you'd have researchers study the particular gene or, or part of a gene in detail. So far, advances we've seen in machine learning have come from the fact that these features could be learned. That you could have a genomic sequence of DNA with its series of AGs, Cs, and Ts. And you may never have seen the sequence before, but by having enough sets of data, without understanding the fundamental nature of the gene involved, we can still infer predictions for higher level effects effects such as whether this person has cancer or and even in particular what stage of cancer. If we don't know the features, we have to learn them or infer them. One of the key areas right now that's uh, been very powerful is to take machine learning models and stack them on top of each other in a deep way, where the lowest level models would take these direct symbols in the DNA bases, the fundamental parts of, of biology, and then we would build models on top of that and as you get up higher and higher in this deep hierarchy, a motif from parts of patterns of sequences can be aggregated into combinations of motifs which could be aggregated into the key parts that give us the signal that this person has cancer or this person doesn't. This is really only possible due to two advances. First is we finally have enough compute power that we can train these types of models as such that they can learn. And the second advance is that we finally have enough data such that we can train these models in a very rich way such that they can be predicted with high accuracy. So when we compare old school machine learning to the newer techniques, what we're seeing is a difference where before these features had to come from a human intelligence. A, a person had to figure out this causal connection and then these models could basically give quantitative predictions of its relevance. What is different now is that instead of the human intelligence figuring out what are the salient details, we have computers being able to figure out these features and actually identifying features that human beings would never come up with. Through that, we're able to make much more accurate predictions to be able to have more accurate diagnostics, to be able to save lives such as in early cancer detection. From a data science driven by human features, we're starting to see computational features driving this much more towards an artificial intelligence where computers are figuring out the key salient elements. And we expect to see more of this push more and more into this sort of sense of artificial intelligence of the computer learning in ways and frankly discovering things about biology that we never knew.